Hi everyone. I want to read for you 1 Corinthians 15, 58, where it says, Therefore, my dear brothers, stand firm, let nothing move you. Always give yourself fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. I want to say it again, because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. I have a story for you. There was a girl, 11 years old, who was broken and hurt. One day, a group of women from a van ministry came knocking on her door. It invited her to church. She accepted the invitation, not because the women were flattering or she thought the idea of going to church was fun. She just wanted to get away. And what she got away to was a cold, dusty pew, front and center of the preacher who would preach his sermon. She had no idea what he was saying. And at the end of the sermon, she'd go bow a knee at the altar and the women would pray over her again not understanding what the women were saying after about two months she thought enough's enough and let them know that she would no longer be attending the women handed her a bible and when she got home she opened it and found that they had signed their names she quickly tore that page out of her bible she didn't want to remember her experience or the women as time went on she did not return to church and as an adult at age 30, just like Lazarus, Jesus called out her name. She walked out of the grave, her grave clothes were removed, and she was born again. Guess what? She still had that Bible with her. As the years went on, she often thought about the women and fantasized how she can go back to that church, which was in another city and state, and tell them, thank you. Thank you for your prayers and thank you for being obedient unto God. Because she knew that because of their prayers, God's keeping hand was always on her. There were times when she could have died. There were times when it could have been a lot worse. Problem was, she didn't have them names because she tore that page out of the Bible. However, I found assurance in knowing that in heaven, God will create a reunion for us where we'll be able to come face to face and I'll be able to see the beautiful faces of the women who prayed for me and who were obedient 